the foundation is the primary support for the pump. It must be rigid enough to prevent flexing, and to absorb vibrations. Any shifting or failures in the foundation, can cause the pump to be out of alignment. Which can cause several pump problems such as the impeller rubbing against its casing, and bearing and seal premature failure. The total mass of the pump's foundation should be at least three times the mass of the pumping unit, which includes the pump, driver, baseplate and gear reducer if it is used. The two main parts of the pump's foundation are 1. The pump's baseplate, which is a metallic or polymer concrete pad onto which the pump and driver are mounted. And 2. The substructure, this is the structure that supports the baseplate. It is usually made of reinforced concrete. But can be also made from heavy steel beams. There are two main types of base plates. Steel base plates. And precast polymer concrete base plates. Next we will show the subtypes and features of each type. One type of base plate is the steel base plate. Steel base plates can be divided into Cast Formed and welded base plates. Cast base plates usually have thick walls and are more heavy and rigid than formed or welded base plates. They are also less prone to warping than formed or welded base plates. However, due to the difficulty and expense associated with making very large castings, cast steel base plates are usually limited to small pumps. Formed base plates are made from thick steel sheets that are formed into shape. They usually have a C-shaped cross-section. Due to the difficulty in bending large thickness plates, formed base plates are also limited to small size pumps. They are the lightest type of base plates. But are also the most prone to warping due to their relatively small rigidity. Welded base plates are made from thick steel plates that are welded together. They often incorporate reinforcing members on their underside to increase their rigidity. They can be made to fit any size of pump. They have intermediate weight and rigidity, and are the base plates of choice amongst metallic base plates for industrial pump installations. There are two types of cast steel base plates. The first type is solid, and the second type is hollow. Due to its heavier construction, a solid base plate is less prone to warping than a hollow one when it is grouted onto its reinforced concrete base. However, hollow steel cast base plates are more common than solid ones. This is due to the fact that they are easier to transport because they are lighter. And they are cheaper to make since they contain less steel. When the base plate is grouted in place, in a process that will be subsequently described, its hollow interior is filled with grout. The internal corners of the hollow plate must have a radius of at least 20 inches to prevent grout cracking due to stress concentration at the corners, caused by grout shrinkage as it cures. The corners also have small vent holes that prevent air pockets from being trapped at the corners as the grout flows to fill the base plate. Hollow base plates have at least one grouting hole for each 12 square feet of base area at their top surface for pouring grout into the base plate during installation. Polymer concrete base plates are made by blending an inert aggregate with a thermosetting resin such as vinyl ester or epoxy. The polymer concrete base plate is made by pouring a polymer concrete mixture into a mold that has the desired base plate shape. The base plate is then cured, which causes the polymer concrete to solidify while having the desired base plate shape. Polymer concrete base plates can be of two main types. Regular base plates and foundation systems. Regular precast polymer concrete base plates can be of the solid type, which is installed on a reinforced concrete platform and grouted on its bottom surface. 
Some base plates have an integrated drip pan that is used to collect any fluid that might spill from the pump. Precast polymer concrete base plates can also be of the hollow type. Hollow base plates are also installed over a reinforced concrete pedestal. They are filled with grout through their top grouting holes during installation. Another type of polymer concrete base plate is the foundation system. The foundation system is made of a hollow shell of polymer concrete that is opened in the bottom, with the base plate on top. The shell is placed over a steel rebar cage. The foundation system is then filled with standard 3000 psi concrete, or cementaceous grout, through the top grouting howls. The advantages of the foundation system over regular base plates include Faster installation time since the three-step process that we will see subsequently of building the concrete platform, then preparing the top surface of the platform, and finally grouting the base plate in place, is reduced to a single step where a single pour of concrete is used to install the foundation system in place. The overall installation cost of the foundation system is smaller than a regular base plate. Due to the elimination of the extra installation steps, the elimination of the need for forms for the initial concrete platform and the use of regular concrete in the installation instead of the more expensive epoxy grout. Even though the foundation system itself is more expensive than a regular base plate, the savings in the installation costs usually make it a more cost-effective option when it is available. The advantages of polymer concrete base plates as compared to steel base plates include the following. Higher rigidity, which means that the polymer concrete base plates undergo less deflection when they are grouted in place. When steel base plates are filled with grout, they tend to distort by sagging in the middle due to the contraction of the grout as it cures. The distortion can cause the level and orientation of the pump and motor foot pads to change. This can lead to misalignment between the pump and driver shafts. In cases involving a small amount of misalignment due to a change in the level of one or more of the foot pads, the condition can usually be corrected by shimming the pump or motor foot pads that are lower than required level. More severe misalignment cases especially those involving a change in the orientation of the foot pads can require in-field remachining of the foot pads to correct the wedge-shaped gap between the foot pads and the pump or driver support. Polymer concrete base plates offer good resistance to chemicals such as acids, alkalines, and solvents. Polymer concrete base plates are also not subject to corrosion. Polymer concrete base plates tend to be about 30% cheaper than comparable steel base plates. For installations involving corrosive fluids, polymer concrete base plates tend to be much cheaper than base plates that are fabricated from exotic alloys that would otherwise be used. Finally, due to their higher rigidity, a smaller amount of work needs to be done on realigning the pump and driver after the installation of a polymer concrete base plate. This translates into a cheaper and faster installation. The disadvantages of polymer concrete base plates as compared to steel base plates include The fact that they tend to be brittle. This means that a polymer concrete base plate is more likely to be broken or cracked if it is dropped or mishandled. The option of using a polymer concrete base plate is sometimes unavailable, especially for older pump models. <laughs>